Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Rat Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, as well Pisces uh, Rising Weekly General Tarot reading November 15th up until uh, November 21st, uh, 2021. And uh, should you be guys interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and as well if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads so with that uh, set aside let's uh, move straight away to the pisces reading the very first card that you do have guys that is going to be the ace uh, of wands followed by the second card here, which stands as the uh, King of Pentacles, followed by the third card, that is to be the Knight of Swords. Uh, moving next, we have the Knight of Cups, pretty cramped and crowded week. It is uh, what is ahead of you. And uh, the last card we do have, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, that could go in so many ways, okay? But definitely there are a at least a three people involved uh, into your situation and that situation the way how i can classify it it's um quite gaining for enterprise okay that is gonna start right at the start of the week uh with the ace of wands you know for for some of you it's gonna be a big gaining for enterprise for others not that big gaining for enterprise but nonetheless it's such it is a um a beneficial endeavor that you can throw yourself into remember you do have the chance to say no or rather like you do have the option to say no because i am not to make decisions for you you have to make them for yourself <clears throat> regardless of that the energies are showing that something exciting is coming your way here uh with uh, this tarot card and the ace of wands it is that uh, opportunity or an or an enterprise which excites you not because it's um how can i say not because it's something for example difficult and challenging but it is but because it's something different something that you do have a feeling you have a knack for but you never really tried and that maintains your interest it maintains your um <clears throat> your eagerness you know it maintains your it's not even determination but it is more like a um what, what is the word passion Okay, so maintains your passion to try it out to see if it's going to work out for you and that's why the ace of wands many times or for the most part accompanies the start of the enterprise with a little bit of a chaos here and there just be just until you get the hang of it but what it uh, what it holds it's um a chance for any of you pisces to develop or unfold it's probably the better word here a potentials that you had as a gift but you you never had a need to develop it is just this this situation here throws you in an environment where you are to find that you are good at something you know maybe you are good at flirting in a certain way or good at giving love or good at doing some kind of work uh, regardless of the case you are just going to become more versatile after you do take that uh, gaining for enterprise once more that is going to be very very interesting for you and right after uh, you take it should you decide to take it this person here approaches you that is or steps up into your environment that is the king of pentacles and it is accompanied with the um seven of swords those couple of cards really a nice guy or a nice woman uh, this is uh, usually or by its own accord the king of pentacles they are very generous when it comes to uh, investing into other people because that's their purpose okay to invest into other people so the these other people contribute for themselves and 
there is no harm done in it. The King of Pines Coast wins from it as well. But they are not, uh, and they are generous, but they are not charitable at all. They, they, this ain't charity, except this elemental dignity. With the Seven of Swords there, uh, those two cards happen to be a um, passive enemies. And uh, there are two reasons why that could be the case with the King of Pentacles, why what is what this person is doing for you, it's a charity, either because they are bored from life. It's kind of like they have everything they have ever needed. And now it is just, you know, it's just something exciting for them to help to, an, uh, to another person to do something of their life or to improve their life in any way possible. Uh, the other option here is that you just have the Good Samaritan around and, you know, it's, uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so you might as well take it as you are at it. Uh, the investment of the King of Pentacles could be anything. You know, they may invest emotionally in you, they may invest uh, materially in, in you, you know, they may, they may invest... Um, uh, I don't know how to classify that, but through a professional help, you know, they may invest their time in you and so on and so forth. Regardless of the case, we do have somebody which is going to invest big time in you. And then another person steps up here and that is going to be the Knight of Swords. The catalyst to that is going to be the Queen of Cups. Now, these people kind of dangerous, but I don't think that they are against you here. They are, they, they, this one has a very neutral status into your environment into this week, but for one or another reason, uh, they play a role for your personal development of career and of relationship as well. Now, these people, they are... Um, it's not cold-hearted. Let's say that these people they are capable of emotions they are capable of feelings but they are also uh capable to overrule those feelings and those emotions for the sake of doing things the way they are supposed to be done uh king the knights of swords they are truth seekers okay and what i do think it is that something with you revolves around a truth of theirs and they are determined to find that truth regardless especially having here the queen of cups which is the this the 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 card of being discreet and it happens to be neutral to the uh to the knight of swords so there is something about being discreet here that the knight of swords is trying to find out now because it is a neutral elemental dignity it means that they are not determined to do it at all cost so yeah maybe a secret of yours could be in jeopardy but these are just only sniffing around for now it's, they are not digging for now so um, if you know that person very well and you can't prevent them uncovering your secret then that is going to be a great thing for you and i don't think that you will have a much of an uh much of a uh, problem doing it so because only thing what you need to do uh to um, make the knight of swords go away is create a reasonable doubt and uh, right after you deal with that person the next one shows up here and steps up into your environment oh my god they are catalyst it is the uh six of cups okay and so that person definitely they do have a thing for you uh that could be of course you know the person that you are living with or the person that you are in love with you know you both could be in love with here uh with the six of cups that one is having such a pleasant emotions towards you that they don't necessarily have to be as well romantic but it kind of leans into that direction here with those couple of cards because they feel I, I i can't even say the word carefree uh, they, they they feel like a, like a teenager when they are around you and uh, with the six of cups as a uh, as a supporter to the knight of cups they definitely like you physically as well and also a, uh, a emotionally Knights of Cups, these people, they always follow the dreams of their heart and they do not believe in chances. So, or rather like that the 
faith is going to do the work for them. So they ain't going to take chances with luck. But instead, if they want something, they will ask for it because their belief it is that if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no. So should they have interest in you, which is without a doubt, I think that you are to be approached uh, with a person who shows like I said, interest uh, interest in you. Again, it is entirely up to you to decide do you want to give the man or the woman a chance or maybe not. Regardless of the case, uh, you are ending up here the week with the seven of pentacles and that card shows that at the end of the week you do have a lot to think about, you know, how to fit all that, all these people into your day-to-day -day routine, uh, and in generally to be um, not efficient, uh, beneficial, in generally to be beneficial with all of them. Because the Seven of Pentacles, that is the only thing that I'm going to show because it's general reading and that's the only thing that gives us clue here. We do have the Bush of Pentacles, which is the Bush of Wealth. Okay, and uh, we do have one pentacle though here below which fell from the bush or it is just there and the person is trying to fit it in the bush in any way possible. And that's you guys trying to fit the, uh, the positive aspect of these three people in such a way that you do build up a bush of wealth for you. And when I say wealth, um, I don't mean just only money. For some, wealth is money. For others... Wealth is love. For third, wealth is health, right? Um, it's uh, real estate, maybe wealth as well. So whatever your wealth is, definitely these three people can contribute for your wealth. And it's up to you to figure out how that is to happen. So with that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. November 15th up until November 21st, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And I, I really, really hope that you will be able to fit these three people exactly where they belong into your environment and you are going to end up quite happy of it. But with that being said, we're going to see each other next time. And until then, bye.